I don't know if you heard, but it is Thanksgiving week and it's also rally week, people. Woo! Can I get a round of applause in the gym? Yay! We have an awesome show for you this week, so let's just get right on to it. Kind of question of the week bonus that we have for y'all is who would you invite to Thanksgiving? And I would definitely invite my whole newsflash crew because I miss them. I'm anchoring myself this week and even though I'm killing it so far, I do miss them. So that's who I would invite. I'm running around the streets of Ash Rosary and asking people who would they invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Let's go. Um, Sebastian Yatra. Um, who is that? <laughs> he is. Um, he is originally from Colombia and he is a singer. He's one of my favorite um, singers and he's, I'm like very, he's a big fan. I'm either Kurt Cobain or Jimi Hendrix. Lovely. Um, I would invite Miss Boyd to my Thanksgiving dinner so I could get my phone back. I was studying on Quizlet when she took it. <laughs> Can I invite Lucy Vacious? Hey Charlotte. Hi. Um, who would you want to have at your Thanksgiving table? Um, I'd want to have Mr. Dakota. All the teachers, man. Let's get all the part. Let's get all the party people in the house. Miss Boyd, I want you at my Thanksgiving dinner. Will, come on and come join. Greg Caro at the dinner table. I mean, can you imagine the Ashley Nolan at the dinner table? This would be unbelievable. I would invite Lady Gaga so I can ask her about like her new movie, The House of Gucci. Who would you invite to Thanksgiving? Daniel Craig. Absolutely. Get my whole B1 up in here. Look at this. B1 up in my Thanksgiving dinner table. Harry Styles. Pat McAfee. Definitely. Who's that? He is a um, kicker. NFL kicker, former kicker, and has a super funny sports broadcasting show. I would love to have Taylor Swift at my Thanksgiving party. Fry the turkeys. You guys come to my dinner. Everybody's invited. Let's go. We're all going to have Thanksgiving dinner. Even though it's our Thanksgiving show, we have a treat for y'all and we have our Christmas in a Cup segment because we just couldn't resist putting a little Christmas magic in there. Hey New Slash Nation, it's Olivia. I'm Miss Quest. I'm McCall. It's almost Christmas time, so we're here today to test out these four Christmas Starbucks drinks. Guest yeah, starring me, of course. I am a Starbucks expert. I go to French truck um, almost every day. I actually don't like coffee. I'm very tired and I need some coffee. I'm going to start first with chestnut praline. I hope I pronounced that correctly. We're gonna go with praline. Daisy and Miss Quest said praline, but if you're from the South, you know that the word is praline. Chestnut praline is my favorite Christmas drink. So, bottoms up. The chestnut praline tasted like milk. It does taste like popcorn. <laughs> I'm not really picking up chestnut or praline. I actually really like that. Next is the sugar cookie almond latte. I am super excited to try this one because I've heard very good things about it. I'm really excited to try. Ooh, never mind. I think that's chocolate milk. I'm honestly a little disappointed, but you know, that's life. Next up we have a peppermint white chocolate mocha. Peppermint white. Nola, peppermint white mocha. Eh. Ooh, that's good. I have always loved this one. It just tastes like peppermint and coffee. The final one is the peppermint mocha. Absolutely not. That's really good. That's really good. It tastes kind of like a hot chocolate. I really feel like I am sitting under a Christmas tree next to a fire. It's your standard Christmas little fun drink. Overall, I like the chestnut one the best. The white peppermint mocha and the peppermint mocha. The peppermint mocha. I'm just gonna stick with my French truck. I enjoyed tasting these today. Please take my recommendations with a grain of salt. The end. Love y'all. Back to y'all in the studio. One time, somebody asked me who would win in a foot race, me or Mr. Wilbur, and it got into such a heated debate, we decided to finally do it. Let's go check out the turkey trot.
was it hard to learn how to use the fire extinguisher? Um, no, you literally pull this out, aim, and fire. That's it. Ah, fire. Funny. Well, you know, when all of the alarms started going off, Julian looked at me and she was like, there are people coming down the fire escape. And I did start crying a little bit out of pure embarrassment, it really, but it was fine. It was so, you know, you live, you learn. It so. was in the moment. Yeah, and then the fire truck showed up and, <laughs> it, it, you know, it just kept going. It wasn't really the best morning, but... Yeah. But now we're prepared. Yeah, right. exactly. So we're all good. It's that time again. Question of the week. What is your least favorite Thanksgiving food? Mine is gravy. Whoa. Roll the clip. What is the worst Thanksgiving food? Cranberry sauce. That's what really? I said. It's the worst Thanksgiving food. Green beans for sure. They're so nasty. I actually completely disagree. I love green beans. Now, what is the worst Thanksgiving food? Um, green bean casserole. What is the worst Thanksgiving food? Deviled eggs. Ugh. Sablon, what is the worst Thanksgiving food? Hmm. Probably not a very popular Thanksgiving, but I had a great aunt who used to bring a jello, I don't even know, slimy thing every year. Lainey, what is the worst Thanksgiving food? Uh, turkey. I feel like as a society, we should stop pretending that it's good and just think that we had a bird that we did not know how to cook, and so we made a holiday for it. Facious, <laughs> what is the worst Thanksgiving food? Oh man, the worst Thanksgiving food is that, um, those sweet potatoes with marshmallows on them. That is We've the most a lot disgusting. Of those. That, uh, who came up with that? Miss Brown, what is the worst Thanksgiving food? What? <laughs> Bonnie, what is the worst Thanksgiving food? Honey baked ham. What is the worst Thanksgiving food? Ham. It's literally so awful. If you like ham, I just, I can't. I can't. <laughs> it's my favorite. No, wait, hold on. The worst food. SJ, what is the absolute worst Thanksgiving food? Um, sweet potato pie. I do not understand it. Why do you put mushroom? I mean, not mushrooms. Marshmallows on top. What? I don't. What is the worst Thanksgiving food? The worst dish I ever had at Thanksgiving was a cranberry recipe that my sister made that had horseradish in it. It was awful. What is the worst Thanksgiving food? I'm gonna go with stuffing because it's so like bland but bitter and it looks gross and it looks like, I don't know, it's just crunchy. Ew, crunchy! Sloan, what is the worst Thanksgiving food? Turkey. Turnips. What is the worst Thanksgiving food? Hands down mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes? Ooh! Guys, what is the worst Thanksgiving food? So this will be pretty debatable, but I would have to say turkey because I am a vegetarian. So turkey day is preferably the day where I, not preferably, it is the day where I starve. I would say the worst thing on Thanksgiving would be uh, stuffing. Turkey has a family and y'all are all murderers. What is the worst Thanksgiving food? The cranberry sauce. What is the worst Thanksgiving food? Cranberry sauce. <laughs> Hi, I would like to state that this wacko from New York wacko. says pecan pie and it is pecan. So Praline. Oh, no. <laughs> the worst Thanksgiving food, McCall Schlosser, is energy drinks, it's particularly Red Bull. Please have your turkey and dressing at Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and happy rally. I hope everyone has the best time. I'm so pumped. And we'll see you same place, same time next week on Newsflash. But before we go, we have a special message from our little hearts. Happy Thanksgiving! 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 Look at me! Look at me say happy Thanksgiving!